In this video, I'll be showing you how to rebuild the steering on a third generation Camaro. Rebuilding the steering on these cars is extremely important because these cars are very old and the steering is most likely worn out at this point. These are all the part numbers for all the components that you'll need to rebuild the steering on a third gen. It's important to use the AC Delco center link in this application. The Moog link has the incorrect geometry for these cars. Drive your car up ramps. Pull the parking brake. Place the cinder block behind the rear tire. Remove the hubcap and then loosen the five lug nuts. Place the jack underneath the cross member and jack up the car. Place jack stands underneath the subframe and then lower the car onto the jacks. Remove the five lug nuts. Pop the hood. Disconnect the engine bay light. Remove the cotter pin and castle nut from the outer tie rod. Using a marker, make an outline of the idler arm. Remove the two idler arm bolts. Loosen the nut that's attached to the pitman arm, and then use a pickle fork to separate the two. Wipe off the pitman arm. Record and measure the length of the inner and outer tie rod. Install the grease fittings. Connect the inner and outer tie rod end. I'm using the UMI sleeve for this. Connect the inner tie rod to the center link. Torque down the castle nut. Install the cotter pin. Connect the idler arm to the center link. Torque down the castle nut. Install the cotter pin. This is what the finished assembly should look like. Connect the assembly to the pitman arm. A torque wrench won't fit in this location, so just try to torque it down by hand. Install the cotter pin. Reinstall the idler arm, making sure that you line up the new idler arm with the red marks made before. Attach the tie rod to the spindle. Torque down the castle nut. And install the cotter pin. The next step is to align the center link. You must align the center link in line with the A-arm bolts. This is extremely important. If you don't do this correctly, your steering will not feel very good when you're done. There should be a diagram that comes with the inner and outer tie rods that shows you what to do. Once you're done aligning the center link, retorque the idler arm bolts. Apply grease to the steering components. I recommend buying some caps for the grease fittings. Reinstall the five lug nuts. It's a good idea to test your steering by moving the steering wheel to full lock on both sides. Jack up the car. 
and remove the jack stands. Slowly lower the car. Torque down the five lug nuts. Install the hubcap. An alignment is required after rebuilding the steering. These are the recommended alignments for a third gen. Pick whatever application suits your needs. Do not use the factory alignment. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment below.